Welcome to Two Stories with a Twist of Humor. My name is Farron, so happy, and we are coming to you from YouTube. So if you haven't done it yet, head on over to YouTube, search up Music and Beyond Productions, and subscribe to our channel. Also, head on over to Facebook, search up Music and Beyond Productions, find the page, like the page, do the exact same thing for Instagram, and please visit our website at www.themusicandbeyond.com. Alrighty, so episode 12... <laughs> Uh, I don't know what it is about Arlie powwows or whatnot. You know, I've talked about this powwow in the past with me. But if you listen to episode 11, I was talking about my late buddy. Uh, he, you know, he talks in his sleep. Well, he struck again at the Arlie powwow. <laughs> and I hope I get the story straight. I hope I remember it right. So we went over to Arlie, Montana many years ago. And um, we set up there. We did not get into the singing contest. We were just there just to sing around and, you know, just have a good time. And um, <clears throat> we really enjoyed the power over there. A lot of these guys got to see some of the things that we don't get to witness, like uh, uh, canvas singing. You know, they basically just sing on canvas over there at the early power prior to, you know, the power happening. And... Uh, Originally, he was supposed to camp with with me and my ex at the time, and uh, I don't know why, but he asked me, literally asked me, can I go to the stick game? I'm like, dude, you're a grown-ass man. I don't care what you do. You know, I'm tired. I'm ready to go to bed. So he took off over to stick game, and he was over there for quite a while, I guess. I ended up falling asleep. And I don't know where he ran into my uncle at. Um, my uncle had an RV. And <laughs> so he asked him, can I sleep in your RV tonight? And I guess my uncle told him, yeah. Well, they didn't. nobody gave them the warning that, you know, my buddy likes to talk in his sleep. And so <laughs> I guess my uncle's wife was originally sleeping on the side of the you know, there's a bed in their RV, and it kind of hangs over, like, right above the driver. And she was originally on that side, and my uncle was like, I guess you could say, against the wall. Well, out of nowhere, this guy just, bam, hits, you know, hits the wall in his sleep. And she jumped over my uncle and pushed him over to the other side. <laughs> and he start, start talking in his sleep. And... It's kind of like he must have been dreaming about sweat because he used to go to sweats a lot. And then he goes, rocks, you called out an effing rock. And he just kind of started chuckling. <laughs> now that's a rock. <laughs> you know, my uncle didn't know what to, you know, what to kind of think about that. And I think it took them a what else he was going to do. And so... We wake up and, you know, we're set up over at the powwow and over at the powwow. And I didn't even know anything until uh, he he goes, what was you dreaming about? And again, it's kind of like with my cousin. He's like, I wasn't dreaming about my cousin. He's like, I wasn't dreaming about nothing. He goes, well, you must have been dreaming about sweat or something because he told him what he said and. Yeah, we all just cracked up. It's like, yeah, he's notorious for doing that. So, <laughs> Arlie Powell struck again. Arlie 2 and us 0. So, I hope you guys have had a wonderful time with this short story. And again, head on over to YouTube. Search up Music and Beyond Productions. Subscribe to our channel. And head, head back over to Facebook. Search up Music and Beyond Productions. Find the page. Like the page. Do the exact same thing for Instagram. And if you would like, head on over to SoundCloud, search up Farron. So happy I have two shows, The Music and Beyond Show, there's 29 episodes, and Farron's Food Stops, there's 40 episodes. And please visit our website, www.themusicandbeyond.com. So, again, I am not poking fun at anybody with these. Um, I've been in these moments as well. And there's so many stories to tell. I mean, not only just myself. Uh, my wife, uh, she was telling me some really funny ones when we was coming home from my niece's graduation. 
And any of my singers, I mean, man, we could rise each other for days, as well as my brother and my sister. So expect more in the future. I hope, you know, these stories are making you guys laugh. And it would be fun to hear your story. So if you have any you'd like to tell, even if it's about me, hit me up or let me know. We can record it or you can send me an auto clip or do whatever you want to do. So, again, I hope you've had a good time. I hope each and every one of you guys have a wonderful day, and we will see you at the next one.